to May. It is May 1st. Look at us, y'all. We are in the fifth month of the year. We are just moving right along in Christ. And today is a special day. It is Pastor James and I. It's our anniversary. We have been married today for 38 years. Woo! 38 years. <laughs> No, but I give God thanks and praise that he's allowed us to be married for 38 years. And um, I'm excited to see what we're going to do today. And we don't really plan a whole bunch of things, but um, I'm going to plan some things to kind of like to celebrate the whole day and just enjoy the day. Right? So I just thank God for that. And yeah, I thank God for that. So I'm going to just go ahead and pray and then get into the video. Lord, we just bless you and honor you this morning. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for loving us, giving us mercy, showing us your kindness. We thank you for, for providing everything that we need, God. We thank you so much, Lord God, that you have gone before us and you are with us to see us through all the difficult things in our life. And so we love you, Jesus, Holy Spirit. You are so welcome. You're so welcome. Welcome, Holy Spirit, to lead us and to guide us into all truth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome your presence right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God, as always, I commit this video and this time into your hand, establish it for your glory that in us fruit will come, God. Fruit, when you come and do fruit inspection father you will see the fruit of the spirit father god inside of us in jesus name we ask you all these things amen hallelujah so i just want to tell y'all i really really love preaching i love worshiping i just love doing things for god when i used to dance i loved i mean love doing it right so sometimes i start to pray and tears come and, and smiles just come because it is a pres a pleasure <laughs> it's a pleasure to serve the lord god almighty amen so i'm going to go ahead and get into the today's message it says my power dwells in you my power dwells in you sometimes you need to take a step back and breathe that's okay breathe Father gives you the breath of life. I live in you and empower you. Don't take our life and our power for granted. Meditate on them and you will feel my strength rising in your heart. Consider this, the spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. Amen. Your fervent effectual prayers make tremendous power available to you. You do not yet realize how powerful you truly are in Christ. I'm telling you that no devil can stop you. No devil can stop you. Hallelujah. He said, no devil can stop you. He said, take a deep breath. Then get up and pursue the Father's will for your life. I am with you. Take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath right now. <sighs> Yes, one more. One more. Hallelujah. He said, then get up and pursue the Father's will for your life. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. He says, sometimes we need to take a step back and breathe. For sure. For sure. We need to take a step back and breathe because... Sometimes we get so caught up in whatever is going on in our life that we forget to take a moment to breathe. Really, that's how we end up being burnt out because we take a moment. We don't, we fail rather to take a moment to take a breath. We fail to take a moment to take a rest. It says, my power dwells in you. Hallelujah. The Lord said to us, don't take um, for granted the power of uh, that resides in us the power of the living god resides in us and i don't believe that we focus or meditate on that enough to realize that when you and i wake up in the morning it is the power of the living god the only true living god dwells inside of us it dwells inside of us so yes he they dwell inside of us and we have to um consider as the word says that the power 
that raised the spirit or the power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells inside of us. So the Holy Spirit is the power of God. It's, he's the power. He's the one that makes things come to pass in our life. And he said, remember and consider that that power dwells inside of us. So really we have, you and I, we have no reason why we can't soar in this life because um, the power of God lives inside of us. The same spirit. Spirit, hallelujah, that raised Jesus from the dead, dwells, lives, resides inside of us. And the Lord wants us to meditate on that. He wants us to remember that. He wants us to think on that. Hallelujah, that the power of God, the spirit of God dwells inside of us. Glory to God. We are so blessed to have the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the living God dwelling inside of us dwelling inside of us. And then he goes on to say that no demon can defeat us. I believe that's what it said or something like that, right? Hold on. Let me see what it says. It says, let me just back up. It says, you don't realize how powerful you truly are. We don't. And God wants us to know how powerful we are, not because of anything we did or do, but because the power that dwells within us. We have been given power and authority over uh, demons and scorpions. We have been given the power and the authority, hallelujah, to speak to some mountains and they will be moved. We have been given the power and authority to speak life into ourselves and others. We have been given the power and the authority to overcome every single thing, hallelujah, that we face. And God is saying, I want you to know that. I want you to remember that my power dwells inside of you, that my spirit dwells inside of you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We bless your name, Lord God. Hallelujah. He said, you don't realize how truly powerful you are in Christ. Let me take a little tea here. I don't know if I showed you this cup before, but this cup says, um, let me see if I could get it right. It says, be still and know. And you know, that Psalms um, 46.10, it's saying, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. So I had to take a little sip of be still <laughs> and know. Hallelujah. We thank you. Glory to God. Jesus, we love you. We praise you. We honor you. We exalt you, Lord God. Thank you for reminding us of the power and the authority that we have. We thank you for reminding us, Lord God, that the spirit of the living God dwells inside of us. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us. May we never forget, Father, in the name of Jesus. May we meditate on that, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus so that we can live the victorious life that you have called us to live, that you have afforded us to live the victorious life, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it go past our heads, God, and land in our spirits where we'll be able to get up and do what you said do, Lord God, for we don't have to do it in our own strength, Lord, but in the spirit and the power of you, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we bless your name. Father, we honor you. We exalt your name. We glorify your Father. We thank you that you didn't leave us powerless, Lord God. We thank you that you didn't leave us empty, Lord, but you sent the Holy Spirit to dwell inside of us and to keep us and to teach us and to lead us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless Bless your name. We give you thanks, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It says, I'm telling you that no devil can stop you. It says, take a breath. Take a moment. Let's, let's take a moment and think about that. God said, no devil can stop us. No matter which one rears his ugly head, the Lord says, no devil can stop us because he's already given us authority over the demons. We've got to remember that that no devil can stop us. And I know that 
at times we in the body of Christ we shrink back and and we just we do, we allow ourselves to be defeated because we don't remember these things when the Lord says no devil can defeat you no it can be the devil himself he cannot defeat you and that's what the devil wants us to forget that that he's already defeated that he knows that all of God's sons that are in Christ we're in Christ um we have excuse me it's the pollen we have authority over him but he he doesn't want us to remember that he doesn't want us to bind him he doesn't want us to rebuke him he doesn't want us to cast cast him out he doesn't even want us to remember that we can do all these things but the holy spirit says no devil can defeat you no devil can defeat us hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He said, take a breath, deep breath, then get up and pursue the will of the Father for your life. And then he ends it. He said, I am with you. Who can defeat us when the Holy Spirit is with us? No one, nothing, no sin. Spirit can defeat us. Every name bows to the name of Jesus. So no, nothing, 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 nada can defeat us. <clears throat> and the Lord wants us to know that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, it's the pile and I'm going to have a little bit of tea. He said, my power dwells in you. My power dwells in you. My power dwells in you. The power of God dwells in you. And he doesn't want us to forget it. He wants us to remember. And I know that I'm repeating, but that is the gist of the message that the power of God dwells inside of us and we can do anything because no one can defeat us. A lot of times we're nervous and fearful about stepping out because you know, we're insecure. We're being defeated. We're nothing and no one can defeat us. Even when we're defeated, we're not defeated because we're in Christ and there is no defeat in Christ. Maybe there's something we need to learn, something we need to grow in, but we cannot be defeated. No demonic force can defeat you and I. So the Lord said, rise up, get up. After you take a deep breath, after you settle yourself, hallelujah, then you go ahead and do what God has told you to do and what I to do he said because I am with you I am with you I am with you I hope that this is reassuring and you feel the presence of God because he said I am with you I am with you. That's like a flex of God in my spirit. When he said, I'm with you. It's like, <laughs> I'm with you. Who going to defeat you? I'm with you. Who's going to mess with you? Hallelujah. So he said, rise and go forward. We need to get busy doing what God has called us to do. We have to. Don't forget that we're going to be standing face to face with God one day. So you want to stand face to face knowing that you did everything that God called you to do. Even if you made some mistakes along the way, even if it didn't come out exactly how he wanted it to come out, you gave your best to God. Remember that. So take a deep breath. I know that one of my uh, daughters is a, a therapist. Well, <laughs> of course I know. But she's a therapist and sometimes she say when dealing with the children, she have to tell them take a deep breath. Take a couple more. Let's take a couple deep breaths to calm themselves, to center themselves. So I believe that's why the Lord is saying take a deep breath. When you take a deep breath, you realize glory to God that it's his breath inside of us. It's his breath. It's his breath. Who can stand before God and defeat him? No one, no one, no one. So nothing should hinder us from going forward and doing the thing that the Lord has called us to do. Don't even let yourself stop you. Self-condemnation, self-pity, self-centeredness. Don't let any of those things stop you from becoming the woman or the man of God that God wants you to be. Don't let insecurities, fear, nothing. Because wherever we're fearful, wherever we're weak, God will show up and strengthen us. For sure. For sure. Amen.
Hallelujah. I guess this was one of those words that the Lord wants me to know because I could feel his presence. I could feel his presence ministering to me. Hallelujah. Know that the power of God dwells inside of you and nothing in any way, shape or form can stand before the power of God. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and read the scripture. While I'm doing it, I want you to take a couple deep breaths and center yourself. Take a couple deep breaths and think about it is really his breath. It's not a song. It's not just a song. It's his breath. It's his pneuma. Hallelujah. It's his spirit inside of us. Glory to God in the highest. When we die, our spirit returns back unto the Lord. He gave us the spirit. It's his spirit. Our spirit returns back unto the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's what the word says. And so God wants you to know that my spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit, dwells inside of you. Now, I wasn't talking about the Holy Spirit just now when I said that our spirit returns to God. I wasn't talking about that. I'm talking about my personal spirit returns back unto God. So it's really, really his pneuma. Hallelujah. Pneuma is spirit. His, his pneuma, the Holy Spirit. It's his breath inside of us. It's his breath inside of us. So take a deep breath and say, God is inside of me. The Holy Spirit is inside of me. Jesus is inside of me. Who can stand before God? Who can stop me from becoming what God wants me to become? Only you can stop you from becoming what God wants you to become. Not even Satan. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you this morning. The first scripture is Job 33 and 4. Job 33 and 4 says, the spirit of God has made me. The breath of the almighty gives me life. The spirit of God has made me and the breath of the almighty gives me life. So you're sitting there this morning because the breath of the almighty gives you life. The breath of the almighty gives me life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what Psalms 33 and 4 says, that the breath of the almighty gives you life. So when you wake up and you take briefs, breaths rather, just say, I'm alive because the spirit of the almighty, let me back up. It says the God, the spirit of God has made me and the breath of the almighty gives me life. So when you wake up, take a deep breath, take a deep breath and realize that God is giving you life for another day another moment. You're sitting there, I'm sitting here because God has given us life for another moment, another day, another year, another second, whatever we're in, the, where we're at, God has given us life. Hallelujah. The next scripture is Romans 8 and 11. Romans 8, 11 says, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he will raise Christ from the dead also will give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives inside of you. So God gives life to our mortal bodies because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. And he said, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of us. Hallelujah. God has set us up for victory on every side. He has set us up for victory by planting the Holy Spirit inside of us. All you and I have to do really, 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 you like this, like boiling it down to nothing. The, all we have to do is really follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and we'll see victory. Father, help us to obey and to follow that we receive victory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I hope y'all praising the Lord. I hope y'all feel in the presence of the Lord. Even if you don't feel him, feel him, praise him anyway. Hallelujah. Because he said, my power dwells in you. The last scripture is James. <clears throat> this pollen, y'all. <laughs> James 5, 16. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the message, it's talking about the effectual prayer of the righteous. And so James 5, 16 says, confess your faults one to another. I want to let you let that sit there for a moment because people don't really like to come clean 
before each other. But the Bible says that's something we need to do to confess your faults one to another. Then he said, didn't stop there. He said, and then he said, pray for one another that you, you may be healed, that ye, you, me, us, that we may be healed. That's the purpose of confessing our faults one to another so that we can pray, so that we can be healed. God is so nice to us. He's so kind to us. He just said, I want you to confess your faults to someone. I want you to pray and then I'm going to heal you. Hallelujah. I'm going to heal you. And then it says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. It's, I'm going to read it in the NLT. The last part, it says the prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. So God says, listen, this is what he's saying unto us this morning. My power dwells inside of you. If you will only do what I want you to do, no devil can stand and defeat you. No devil can defeat you. Hallelujah. And then I want you to know that the power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells inside of you. The Holy Ghost dwells inside of you. Hallelujah. Then he said, just confess your faults one to another. Tell somebody you did something wrong. He said, but not just for the purpose of telling them, but so that you all can pray about it. Hallelujah. And that's going to come from a trusted friend. You're going to have to be able to confess to somebody that you trust, right? Depending on what it is, somebody that you really trust that they're not going to go and say, you know, they did this or she did this, he did that. But he said, after you do that, after you confess, after you pray, then the healing can come. Why? Because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man is powerful and it brings forth much. It causes much to happen. And so I want to encourage you this day, as I always do, that God is on our side. He has nothing but good in store for us. He's just shaping us to be the man and the woman that he wants us to be. And we have got to do our best to yield unto him and remember that the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, the power of the Trinity lives inside of you and in me. We can't be defeated. We can't do, be defeated. So uh, the song of that used to come on the radio back in the day by um, McFadden and Whitehead that used to say, well, this probably still says the same thing. It's a song, but it said, ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Hallelujah. And if we really get that, that nothing can defeat us. No devil can defeat us. No devil can defeat us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. And I really do hope that we're holding on to the word of God that we're receiving here. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go ahead and pray the prayer. It says, I refuse to take your empowerment for granted, but I will meditate on your indwelling in the spirit until I know that I know that I know that you are with me. Show me the mighty power I have as a child of God so that my confidence in God will rise. Hallelujah. So just remember that, that the power of God dwells inside of you and inside of me. And then we can just go ahead and become and do all that God wants us to do. So because I pray all throughout the prayer, I, there's no need to pray because I felt led to pray when I was praying. So God bless you. Remember throughout the day that the power of God dwells inside of you. And God said, there's no devil can defeat you. And he said that I am with you. Remember those things. I got to remember those things. You have to remember those things so that we can, all, we can be all that God wants us to be. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and share. Just share it. Share it. Share it. Amen. God bless you.